Hey guys, it's Heather. I hope everyone is well. So I'm standing here in my bathroom today. I wanted to do a video where I go through my entire makeup and skincare collection and show you guys what I would definitely repurchase again and then things that I have that are just kind of like meh, like I would pass on them. I figured this would be a great precursor to an upcoming declutter video that I'm gonna do just for me to kind of go through everything and realistically look at everything and say, okay, here's what I love and here's what's okay. And you know, maybe I would buy it again, but I'm not rushing to buy it. Okay, so we have my last drawer to tackle here, eye products, lip products. So these are the eye products that I'm gonna start with, mascaras, liners, brow products. Again, a lot of these I like, but there are others that are more worthy of me running out and purchasing right away than some of the other ones. So that's my main goal here. Let's start with mascaras. The Lash Princess mascaras, I have two of them. The false lash effect is the one that I would go out and purchase again and again. This one's okay. It's not that it's bad. I just like this one a little bit better. The L'Oreal Lash Paradise Primer. I would definitely repurchase this one again. The Worth the Height Mascara is good. This is a brand new one I bought. I think it was like buy one, get one free. This I don't like enough where I would be running out and grabbing it. It's good, but it's not my favorite. I feel like the CoverGirl Lash Blast and the Colossal Volume are pretty much neck and neck, but there are a couple other ones from the drugstore like the Telescopic, which I don't have right now, and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise that I would purchase over these two. The Falsies was not great for me. This is a travel size. I love to just throw this one in my purse. It's perfect. It's quick and easy if you just want to pop some mascara on if you're in the car or something, but I wouldn't be running out and purchasing it again. The Superhero and the Roller Lash, both really, really good. I have the Roller Lash Travel Size. I bought these ones in a set. They're good, but I just think that there's some other ones from the drugstore that work just as good for me and they're cheaper. So I'd probably purchase those over these ones. For example, the Superhero It Cosmetics one, I think is very, very similar to the Essence Lash Princess. It performs very similar. And this one is a fraction of the cost. So I continue to go with this one. This brow gal, I had it sent to me. It's really good, I've been enjoying it. I'm not huge, huge on powders. I would probably be interested in trying something else, but I might come back to this, we'll see. So for brow pencils, the LA Shady Slim Brow Pencil is good. I like the CoverGirl one better, so I would definitely repurchase the CoverGirl one and pass on the LA Girl Slim Shady Brow. These ColourPop eyeliners are good. I have a few different colors. I would continue to purchase them. I think they're good quality and they get the job done and they're affordable. So you can't beat that. This one I got trying to dupe my MAC Coal Liner. It's good. It's not as good as the MAC Coal Liner to me. It does the job, but I think going forward, I would definitely purchase the MAC Coal Liner again. And I would purchase this one again. I don't see why not, but I do like the MAC Coal Liner a little bit better. The Benefit Give Me Brow is good, but I think that I could find something at the drugstore that's more affordable and works just as good. It's not something that I need to run out and go get. The Stila Waterproof Liner is really good. There's one by Maybelline that's also really good. I think that I would purchase this again. I do really enjoy it, but I've been using the Maybelline iStudio one more. It's the gel eyeliner. This is one that I've repurchased again and again. And these two I haven't even used yet. They're the Roller Lash eyeliners in black and brown. I'll have to test them out. I haven't used them yet. Moving on to my eyeshadows, palettes, single shadows, glitters, all things like that. And then we just have lips and we're done. So this is the extent of my eyeshadow and eye collection right now. I want to keep it this size. I don't want it to get any bigger. That said, I'm pretty happy with everything in this collection. There's nothing that I want to declutter right away, but I'm definitely not using all of these palettes. I'm trying to switch it up and rotate what I'm using, but it's just impossible to be able to get through all of this shadow. So I'm going to start with my smaller single shadows that I've been into. This is the e.l.f. one in Rosewater. I mostly just use the top three. It was only a few dollars and it's good. It doesn't last that long, but it's good. And I just like that all the colors that I need are right here in this little tiny compact and I'm not having to search through, you know, huge palettes to try, to try to get color. Another one that I've really been enjoying is this Maybelline Single Shadow. This is in the shade Dusty Rose. It almost reminds me of like NARS Orgasm, 
It has that really, really pretty color. It's perfect for summer. It's just a really flattering color. It was only a few bucks. They have a couple other shadow colors that I want to try out as well because I want to get more into just using single shadows or just very small things that I can just pop in my purse that's just easy to travel with and take on the go. So I have some single shadows from L'Oreal and I've repurchased these a couple times. This one is in the shade Bronze Taupe. It's a really, really pretty bronzy color. And then this one in Amber Rush, they're both super pretty. I like to put this one on the lid and then you can blend it into the crease a little bit. And they're just very easy to use if you don't have a lot of time, just pop them on and they're just so pretty. So I will definitely continue to repurchase these. I think that they're fantastic and they're very similar to these ColourPop shadows. I really, really like these. I wanna try out some of their other colors. For glitters, I have two by Stila, really, really good glitters. I have Kitten Karma and Diamond Dust. These are really, really good glitters. They stay in place. You don't need glitter glue. And I think they discontinued these. These are the ColourPop Supernova shadows. And my favorite is this Walk of Fame one. I think they discontinued them last year, but they are stunning. I wish that they would bring them back because they're way more affordable and I think I like them better than the steel ones. Okay, so for my palettes, I think that there is a couple things, maybe one thing in here that is limited edition. That's the Morphe Kathleen Lights collaboration. You can't get it anymore, so I'm not even gonna talk about it. So the Anastasia palettes, I have Soft Glam and I have Modern Renaissance and I've already repurchased this one. This is my second palette. We definitely repurchase both of these. I have the Morphe Jaclyn Hill one. Okay, this one is Dark Magic. I love the colors in here, but I cannot, for the life of me, get the shadows to perform well. I feel like I want to wear them, and every time I wear them, they just don't look good. It just looks patchy. I can't get it to work. It looks like I have a black eye, but I do love, love, love all the shadows in here. But for that reason, I wouldn't recommend getting it, and I wouldn't repurchase this. The Alamar Cosmetics one is nice. I really love the packaging. It's beautiful. The colors are beautiful. This one I got in a boxy charm. I wouldn't run out and go buy it again. I do enjoy it. It's not something that I think I would run out and, and go purchase just because I have other shadows that I do like better. But I think that it is really pretty. And if you don't have any shadows this color, like I like that you have like this really pretty, this would, would almost be like a beautiful highlight shade almost. And then there's this really pretty green. So if you don't have anything this color and then there's some really nice transition shades, I would definitely pick it up, but I'm not really reaching for some of these colors. So that's the reason why I probably would pass on it. So for drugstore, I have this e.l.f. one. This is the new classics. I love this palette. It gets a lot of love. This is something that I'll put in my bag or travel with because if it does get broken or damaged, it's not that expensive. It'll be a lot more affordable to replace than one of my other ones that are a little bit more expensive. And here's a good example, like the Cosmo and the Lacosta one are very similar. This top green one is very similar to the Gilded one. There's a lot of very similar colors in some of my other palettes. All right, let's move on to my ColourPop palettes that I have. I have a few and then I have a couple Kylie ones. To me with the ColourPop ones, they come out with so many. This one, when it came out, I don't know if it was the packaging, I just, I loved it, so pretty. These glitters, they all just popped out at me and I just needed it. Their marketing is fantastic in my opinion. <laughs> they just make you want to buy everything. It's just so pretty when you swatch them. You can get a ton of good looks with this palette. My problem is, is these glitters are very chunky. They are beautiful, but you're gonna have fallout and it's gonna be all over your face. That is at least my experience. I feel like they don't, it's very hard for them to stay put. If I was out at the store and knowing what I know now about this palette, would I buy it again? I would say, yeah, I would buy it again. There's some colors that I really like and it's worth it. Next up is the Dream Street palette. I do like this palette. I've used it a lot more in the winter. I love all of Kathleen's collabs with ColourPop. I think they're great. I just don't reach for it as much anymore. That said, I don't know if I was out at the store that I would have to have it or wanna buy it again. Moving on to this ColourPop one. This is the Yes Please palette. This color story really popped out for me for like the spring and the summer. I thought it was so pretty. I didn't have anything that was like really bright yellow and orange. Now that I have the Sweet Talk palette, if I had to pick between these two, I would go with the Sweet Talk one just because there's a couple more shades that I like. I would purchase it again, but it's not my absolute favorite ColourPop palette. So the Kylie Cosmetics. 
I think, here's the deal with this. This shade right here, I love. This is my second palette of this one because of this shade. I bought this palette for this shade. I'm trying to move away from getting palettes just for one shade. Like I really wanna like every single color and all these other colors I can find somewhere in my other palettes. So for that reason, I think if you're looking for a bronze palette, I think this one is really good. But I also think that the ColourPop ones are just as good and they're a fraction of the price. So I would probably try to find something similar from a brand like ColourPop. This is another one. This is the Blue Honey palette. I do like this one again, but I think that I have a few other shades that are similar in some of my other palettes that I like a little bit more. So I'm not sure if I would run out and repurchase this again, but I don't know. I could change my mind. Moving on to my larger palettes. This one I feel like is a very underrated palette. I don't hear too many people talking about it. I think the color story is gorgeous. I love this color. I love the green. I would definitely purchase this one a hundred times. Again, you get like your very neutral looks up here that you could go with, and then you have your Fun Pops color. I totally think this is a fantastic palette and it needs to be talked about more. The Toddy Beauty one is another one that I had to have and I really do like it. I mainly had to have it for, you guessed it, these glitter shades. And I do think that these glitters perform better than the ColourPop ones if you're wondering as far as like staying in place. I find that I get a little bit less fallout. Look at how pretty that is. So this palette, I think it's a good purchase. I do really like all of these colors, the pinks, the orange, everything. I think it's got something for everybody, but I would definitely repurchase this palette again. Okay, I have two larger palettes. This is the original Jaclyn Hill palette. I think that if you do not have any large palettes like this, or if you don't have a big eyeshadow collection, and you're, if you're looking for something that's good and has everything and it's a good price point, this is gonna be your palette. I think it's great for that. So if I was at the store and I didn't have this, I would repurchase this again for sure. Okay, so the only other large Morphe palette I have left is the 35F. This is the Frost palette. I like it. There's some really, really pretty stunning shades in here. Great shadows. The problem is it is so large that I don't want to have to bring out a huge palette, you know, just to use one shadow. But so these three are three different colors and they look very similar. So to me, it's like I have this huge palette with a lot of colors that look extremely similar. What is this, like gray? This one's kind of cool, I don't think. Some of these I haven't, I honestly haven't used. For that reason, I probably wouldn't like run out and repurchase it again. Okay, so the last and final category are my lip products. So I'm gonna start with my liners. I have a couple MAC liners. Out of these two, I like both of them. If I only could pick to go buy one again, I'd probably go with Dervish, just because I feel like I'm using this color a little bit more. Okay, so I think that Rimmel makes a really good lip liner. It's their Exaggerate. I have one red. I'm not huge into reds. I might have like a couple of red lipsticks. I have a gloss and then I have a couple other shades. But the Exaggerate lip liner is so affordable and it's just so creamy and nice. You can put this on if you want and just put a little chapstick over it to give you some nice color. I would definitely repurchase. The Milani in This Is Most Natural, really good affordable drugstore one, definitely repurchase. The Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner, this is in Bare to Comment. Again, it's a really pretty, cr very, very creamy lip liner. I would definitely repurchase. I am a huge fan of the retractable. I don't really like having to use ones with a sharpener. And then my favorite natural one, this is the Maybelline Color Sensational and I don't have anything quite this color, I would definitely repurchase. So all the retractable ones from the drugstore that I have, I think I have four different kinds here, are all very good and I would definitely repurchase. So the ColourPop ones, don't get me wrong, they're good. The Kylie ones, if I can dupe these liners with something from the drugstore, I would probably lean towards going with the retractable because I'm not a huge fan of having to sharpen pencils. But for the ColourPop one, if I could only pick one, it would definitely be the Aquarius Libby Pencil. See, like when you sharpen them, they don't come out right. And then it gets everywhere. It's just messy. I mean, they're good. I just, if I can find something like those two shades to me, I don't know if it's how it's coming off on camera, but 
These two look very similar. Again, if I can find something from the drugstore, I'll probably just go with that. So that's it for my lip liners. For my lip pencils, these are like the lip and cheek pencils. I do really like both of these. I like the nude sticks ones a little bit better. This one is in Whisper. I've repurchased this, love it. And then this is a Glossy Kiss. It's by a brand that I'm not really familiar with, but I like to keep it in my bag. It's just really easy and a really pretty sheen sheer. I don't know that I would go and repurchase it again, but it is pretty. The butter glosses, you guys know I absolutely love, love, love these. I have a few different ones. I have Cherry Pie, I have Creme Brulee, Eclair, Angel Food Cake but I would definitely repurchase those ones. The ColourPop Lippy Sticks, I am not a huge fan of anymore. They're kind of drying. The only one that I do really like is the Aquarius one in cream. I'm not into a dry lip anymore. So because of that, most of those I wouldn't go and repurchase. I have a few Buxom Plumping Glosses, Dolly, Pink Champagne, and White Russian. I love all of these. They're a really nice plumping gloss. They kind of have that like sting to it a little bit. I got them on sale. If you're interested in picking one up, here, I'll just pull one out and swatch it for you. I would recommend getting them when they are on sale because they're a little bit pricey. They smell really nice. They have like a vanilla scent in them and they're just perfect if you want to put over a lipstick just to give yourself like a little plumpness. And these are the three shades that I always go with. So some other lip plumping ones. These are the So Juicy ones from ColourPop. I really like these. I would definitely repurchase them. I have a few different ones. Let's see, I have Roundabout, I have Stuntin, and I have Partly Rowdy. I like these to just throw in my purse to kind of pop on. If you're looking for a more affordable plumping lip gloss, I would check these ones out by ColourPop. They do have a bunch of different colors to choose from. So to stick on the same kind of category as more of like a plumping gloss, I have the Becca ones. These are a little pricey. I recommend getting these on sale. I have the champagne color and then I have the rose quartz. They're both like just a beautiful lip topper. Like if you want to just have a little bit more sheen. So another lip gloss that's nice, that's kind of similar is the ultra glossy lip from ColourPop and it's really nice. So all three of these, I would definitely continue to purchase. Moving on, let's move back to these L'Oreal infallible lips. I have quite a few of these. I did declutter some. So here's the story with these. I love these two shades. I would definitely probably only repurchase this color just because I wear it more. So the infallible ones, they launched last summer. They're the macaroon ones and they are bright. Let me swatch this. If you wanna go with a bright lip and you're looking for something that's good, that's you know a liquid lip, but it's not matte and still has a little bit of a satin, check this one out. It smells really good. The price is good. The only thing I don't like about these is they are very, very difficult to remove. I just don't reach for them enough. So what I would probably do, actually that one's really pretty for the summer. This one is a shade that I can get away with wearing all year round. What is this one? This one is Mon Caramel. And it's like the most neutral out of the line. It is really pretty. I feel like this orange one, I've maybe worn once. Because of that, I probably wouldn't run out and purchase it again. For me, if I just wanted to go with one really fun, funky summer color, I'd probably just keep the bright pink next time and not purchase both, but they are nice. Okay, let's move on to the L'Oreal lip paints. I have one other color, it's called Spicy Blush. It's in my purse. I wear it literally daily, it's amazing. I like that color a little bit more than this Nude Star. I've talked about these a million times. They remind me of the Rouge Pulp from the 90s. I don't know that I'd purchase the Nude Star again, but I do love the Spicy Blush. I continue to purchase that time after time. I think they may have discontinued this shade. This is in Tongue Tied. It is like my favorite. I don't want to swatch it because if they did discontinue it, I don't want to waste it. I know it looks a little funky. It's just a formula, but it is so pretty, this color. I really hope that they didn't discontinue it. I love wearing this and then topping it 
with a little bit of this champagne color. It's so, so pretty. So another one that's really nice is the Revlon Ultra HD. This is a vinyl lip polish. This is in the color Birthday Suit. It's very similar to the lip paints and it's a really pretty gloss, but it is a tad sticky and it's so pretty. I just, I'm obsessed with this color. I would definitely repurchase. If you haven't checked these out, definitely check them out. A couple other glosses that I love that I would repurchase. Love the scent. I love the way they feel on your lips. It's just so comfortable to wear. So I would definitely repurchase those. MAC lipsticks are good. I will say that I think that you can get like Maybelline or L'Oreal lipsticks that are just as good. I have a few nude ones. I have Nude Lust, Beige Babe, and Baddest Beige. This one's more of like a cream and that's Nude Lust. And then I have Baddest Beige. If you wear that and then pop a little bit of that right in the center. And then this one is more matte and this is called Beige Babe. And it's a really, really pretty neutral color that I like to wear a lot too. Sometimes I'll do that and then I'll top it with my Buxom one or it's really pretty topped with the ColourPop plumping gloss. If you want something like a little bit more juicy looking, but these ones are all really good and they're affordable. So this next lingerie, again, it's a very drying formula. I'm not reaching for this. I'll probably be decluttering this in my next declutter for sure. Such a pretty color, but it's just the formula. There's other ones in my collection that I like better. So one that I discovered not too long ago is this Vivid Hot Lacquer. This is by Maybelline. This is in the shade Unreal. It's one of my favorite nude lip colors now. And this is the only red lipstick I have. This is Revlon. Revlon has really nice red lipsticks too. This one's super bright though. I rarely ever reach for it. Okay, this NARS one in Bound, I would definitely repurchase it again. I have so many other colors that are very similar, so I'd probably get through them. But this is a really nice velvety lip gloss and I do really enjoy it and I love the color. So what's left? I just have my ColourPop ones and then I have a bunch of Kylie. A lot of these are the same shade because they're backups. So let's just go through the ColourPop ones. I have a couple of like red blotted lips that are just perfect to kind of pop on when you just want a little wash of color. And then my favorite are the Ultra Satin Lip. This is really pretty for summer. The November one is kind of similar to the Alyssa. I actually have two of Alyssa's because I use it so much. The Alyssa was the um, ColourPop Kathleen Lights collab. So I would definitely repurchase that. November is really pretty. I don't love, love, love this shade on me. I like Alyssa a little bit more. And then I have a more unique shade. It's called Point Zero. I rarely ever use it. It's really pretty. The shade just doesn't look that great on me. So because of that, I'll probably be decluttering it in my next declutter. So my last section of my lip products are the Kylie ones. So I'm gonna tell you right off the bat that the Posey K, while it is beautiful, I do really like the gloss. Where is it? I have three of them. I have the gloss, I have the matte, and I have the satin. This one, this one, and this one. So I got these in a set and I was dying to try it. When you first put it on, it looks great. Throughout the end of the day, it starts to pull like a very almost bright magenta color and gets dark and almost like a red. Because of that, I wouldn't repurchase it again. I'm not sure if it's the batch that I got. The gloss is nice and I still wear the gloss, but the other ones I don't wear because I get like this nasty red ring around my lips when I use it. So I'll probably be decluttering that in my next one. So two that I repurchase over and over again that I have backups of are the Coco K and the Shade Bear. And again, I prefer the satin formula, I think it's called. What does she call it? Oh, she calls it the Velvet Lipstick. So this one in Bear is my absolute favorite. And then this is Coco K. And they're just both super pretty. Definitely repurchase those. Again, I think that you can find some really nice dupes from ColourPop. I haven't been able to find anything exact. However, I do think that Alyssa is pretty darn close and the finish is very similar. You could try that one out if you're looking for a dupe, but I do really like her glosses. And then I also have Candy K, which is like a little bit of more of a darker nude. I'd probably purchase it again, but I wouldn't be running to go get it the way I am with the other two. I have one more quick category to mention that I totally forgot about, and these are my chapsticks or lip products. So this lip scrub, it's okay. It smells good, I think it does the job. I don't know that I'd be running out to get this exact one. It's a little gritty, it's a little, I feel like it dries out quickly. I'd be interested to try something else. 
These Nivea ones are great. This Blackberry one, I really like. It's like a tinted and the scent's nice. These are supposed to be similar. This formula is very different. This is the vanilla buttercream. It's super drying and I feel like it's waxy, if that makes sense. So I wouldn't repurchase this one. This Bite Beauty one, it is the Intensive Lip Mask. I really, really like this. I had this sent to me, so I've been trying it out and I really, really like it. If you have dry lips, you will love this. My Neutrogena Tinted Lip Balm. I've talked about this in other videos. I'm actually like pretty much out of this. It's all I have left on that. But I would definitely repurchase this one. They have a bunch of different colors to choose from. My favorite part about it is that it has sunscreen in it. I feel like there's not many lip products that come with sunscreen in it. And when you can find ones that do, you got to pick them up. My last product is the Dermalogica. This is the nightly lip treatment. I've been using this for a couple years now. I put this on my lips. You just push this little button. I don't want to waste it because it is expensive. You push the button down, some product comes out of the top, you wipe it all over your lips and around like your lip area and it's supposed to help with like aging and wrinkling. I like to think that it works so I'll continue to use it. I like the way it feels on my lips. I'm not sure like if it has made a huge difference but I do really like it and I've been repurchasing it. So here is the repurchase side. Here's everything that I would probably pass on or that I have other alternatives that I like Better. So that is it for today's video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button down below. It will help you find my videos quicker and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.